Hello, this is Steve Olson for It's a CAD World. In this video, I'd like to take a look at the workflow for using Recap Photo and photos from a drone to create a site survey. So you can see I've moved over to Recap Photo. And in the upper left hand corner here, you can see that I have two ways of starting a 3D project from aerial photographs or photos from an object. And I've done previous videos where I do it from an object, and that's mostly because I haven't really had access to drone photography. This one, I've got some uh, a data set from Autodesk, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. So I'm going to go to Arial here. And it's going to ask me to pick my photos. So I'm going to go ahead and click here. And I've got a bunch of photographs here. I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these. Say open. And I've gotten this message before, and actually uh, it's somewhat puzzling because almost every single photograph here does have the GPS data. And, and it tells me the output will not be geolocated. But for some reason it ends up being geolocated anyway. So I'm not sure if it's just not formatted the way that the software wants, or, or there's some other issue going on here. But for the most part, it's it ends up working out okay for me anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and say continue here. The main part of the workflow that I wanted to show was that over here, I can go to the ground control points and you can see that I can manually enter or I can even load a file that had ground control points. So I don't have any ground control points for this model because it was a, uh, a data set that I got from Autodesk. It's a generic one that they've put out there for demos and, and for tutorials. So I don't have any ground control points or at least the coordinates for those. In this case but if I did I could do that and then I could select photographs to identify them in. The other thing I wanted to show here is at the top here I can I can look at the photos or I can say map. If I look at map you can see that it's actually opening up a Bing map interface and it's actually showing me that the photographs uh, that I have. It's, if I kind of hover on one you'll see that it tells me the latitude, longitude, and altitude for a particular photograph. So I can Kind of see that it's even though it didn't say it was going to be geolocated, it does have some geographic information there. Once I'm kind of done setting up my points, I can pick photos, I can kind of identify those points in the photos, I can kind of verify everything with this map. I'm going to go ahead and say done, which will then take me back to my create screen. I can go ahead and say create, I can give this a name. And now I can pick and choose which outputs that I'd like to place this in or what I'd like to get out of this. I'm going to use an RCM and an RCS. Uh, the RCM is going to be if I want to modify this in Recap, uh, or sorry, Recap Photo. The RCS would be better for a regular Recap. And then also taking into, say, Civil 3D or InfraWorks, depending upon where my destination might be. I can also create the 2D orthophoto or elevation map. I'm not really interested in that in this case, so I'm going to kind of leave those alone. I can also set up a target coordinate system. By default, it's going to be trying to figure out the UTM uh, of that based off of the coordinates it's found. I actually want to use a state plane instead. I'm going to use California 83. Three. Say OK. And then the last thing here is you can see that's telling me that I have uh, this will cost 12 cloud credits and the amount I have available. So in this case, it's not a huge deal. It's just uh, 12 cloud credits. The quantity of cloud credits is dependent upon how many photos I upload. In this case, I got 123. So that's going to equate to 12 cloud credits. I'm going to go ahead and hit start here. It's going to then upload these to the cloud. And it's going to process all of that in the cloud. You can see I've done some test runs on this project before. That's why I have these here. But you can see it's going to upload. And once it's done uploading and processing in the cloud, I'll have the ability to, to download it. And if I have the RCM, 
I can work with it in here. Or when I download it, I'll have the other outputs that I have available to me. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. I hope you found the information useful that you can apply to your normal workflows. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can feel free to email me at my email address there on the screen. And as always, thanks for watching.